Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'd like to start this video by finishing up a couple of the comments that I neglected to address in the last video. I love the comments. They're wonderful. It just, you know, kind of lets me go, know that I'm going the right direction with everything. And, uh, you know, this isn't just for me. It's, it's for everybody out there, you know, to be kind of um, it, it, educational, of course, but also inspirational that uh, anybody can follow their dreams. It's not, it's not easy. It's probably going to be the hardest thing you ever did, but it's, it's very worthwhile, especially when, you know, people comment back, you know, that you are inspiring people. And, um, <clears throat> I guess that's, that's really the, the gist of this. Um, so one of the things I thought was really cool <clears throat> when Skinny and I went out to, um, get the sails sorted, <clears throat> uh, we went out to this beach on St. Simon's Island, uh, wonderfully beautiful place. If you ever get an opportunity to see St. Simon's Island, you should, you should just head out there for a day. Uh, it's, it's gorgeous little hunk of paradise really. Um, but we met, uh, two people that are now following my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you so much for, for following, uh, everybody that has liked and, uh, and followed and commented. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I cannot say that enough. I love the comments. And, um, I think that, uh, the fact that I even have followers in multiple states and multiple countries already as, as young as this channel is, it just, it just blows me away. But, um, I want to keep back on track. Um, I met this fella, uh, that was out cruising the country in his van with his, with his pitbull pup. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't want to name names, but, um, you know, Hey man, thank you so much, uh, for following and, um, sharing this journey with me, uh, along with sharing your journey, um, with, with me as well. Um, I also met a, a wonderful Southern woman. Again, I don't want to name names, but uh, she was actually out there uh, taking care of the feral cats that were on the island. Um, just a beautiful, wonderful, salt-of-the-earth soul. Um, really uh, inspirational to meet people like that. But uh, back with the comments. Um, Danielle from Michigan wrote, Very proud. Vlog more. Follow your dreams. Um, I, I will vlog as much as I can. Um, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's hard to do videos and make progress. So that's kind of why these things are, you know, weekly or bi-weekly or whatever. And, and basically we just do status updates, but Hey, Danielle, thank you so much. Uh, it's, it's not easy to follow your dreams, but, um, you know, Hey, I'm here and I'm doing it. And it has been such a wonderful experience. I am, I am here right now at the St. Mary's boatyard. It is probably 82 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but that's, that's sweat on my brow and it's not even 10 o'clock. It's, it's already 80. It's sunshine. There's not a cloud in the sky. It is beautiful here. If you get time, come down and visit. I have, uh, <laughs> a lot of jobs for people to do. If you get bored, uh, we got a lot of just little things like painting that, uh, really anybody with any skill level can do come down and hang out with me. I got three bedrooms, hot water, fresh shower, working stove, all the comforts of home. And soon we'll have air conditioning up and running here. So, Hey, it's awesome. Um, Let's see here. Tom said, moving up in the world, up to ocean sailing. Yes, I hope to move up to ocean sailing. It's a big, 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 beautiful world out there. I'm from the Great Lakes. I've done a little bit of Great Lakes sailing, but a lot of uh, Great Lakes boating. And I'm pretty familiar with how dangerous the environment can be and how quickly things can go from being uh, a peaceful, beautiful day to, oh my God, I got to get home quickly. And when you're out in the ocean, you know, you don't have that option. So uh, I do plan on going back to Michigan at some point in time this summer. Uh, I have a 40 foot Morgan there. Uh, I just got a slip for it. So you'll see more of that project as I finish it up. And then I'm going to list it because I'm going to need to let it go. Even though I love the boat, it's an old OR racing boat and it uh, is fast. It's nimble. And obviously it's big. It's got enough room to sleep like nine people. It's crazy how many people the boat can sleep. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, Sarah from DC commented how much, um, I kind of covered that, I guess, metaphorically speaking, I, I made a comment that the fella had spent, um, $40,000 on resin. And I basically bought it for the price of the resin that he, that he bought. Um, that's true. I, I had looked at, um, the 52 Morgan that was 38,000. They originally wanted 50 and I had talked them down. Uh, I wouldn't give them 15 grand for that boat, but anyway, for $2,000 more, I bought this boat for 40 grand and I'm super pleased if you comp out, you know, 96, uh, 45 foot boats. Um, you can't touch one for this price. Um, they're, they're 80 grand up to 160 grand. Um, this boat has a massive sailing inventory and a lot of goodies and it's a, a really well built boat, which we covered in a previous video. So I won't go through that again. Uh, okay. I think that that is it, um, for the comments. Oh no. Uh, one more. 
Monica from Michigan. Um, I actually knew Monica from high school, hadn't talked to her for 20 years, and um, she watched uh, a couple of my videos, and she's been following a little bit of my vlog here and there, and um, has really become greatly inspired by my story, and she has a dream of her own to take her, her daughter, I, I don't really know if she's three or five, but she's fairly young, and uh, Monica wants to buy a van and travel the country and teach her child about the country and, in essence, the world in, in process of that. And uh, I think that that is just absolutely wonderful. I, I couldn't imagine a better way to raise a child than out there experiencing, you know, real life. And uh, I bless, bless your heart. Um, it, it really fills my heart full of a, a great deal of joy knowing that I inspired someone to go for their dreams. And I, I cannot stress it enough. If you're living life in a rut, you're paycheck to paycheck, you know, whatever, you're stuck in this mundane thing, why? Because of your fear? Man, drop it. Yeah, it's scary. And life is scary. No matter what you do, there's always going to be fear. There's going to be, you know, taxes and bullshit that you got to deal with. And, and that's just life. You might as well be living your dream anyway. Okay? And I, I, I just, I can't stress that enough, man. If you're, if you're afraid, that's, that's okay. That's, that's part of it, you know? Uh, feed off of that and, and just go for it. At the end of the day, what, what do you really got to lose? You know, your car... The place you're renting, I owned my home. I had it paid off. I killed myself taking shit work. Nobody else wanted to get it paid off. And uh, I was really comfortable. It was Life was easy. I could pretty much do whatever I wanted when I wanted. But the problem is I couldn't actually do what I wanted because what I want to do is I want to cruise the world and I, I want to shoot these little videos and I want to show the world how beautiful it really is. And it is amazingly beautiful. It will just, wait till I show you how beautiful it is out there. It will, it'll just blow your mind. And um, more importantly, the people that are out there protecting the world, because there's a lot of crap going on, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's sad, really, um, the crap that's going on out there. But there are people that are taking a stand for it, and they're, they're busting their humps every day to make the world a better place. And uh, my, my real goal, my real mission here with this is to go out and find those people that are making a difference in the world and hold them up high on a pedestal, because I firmly believe they're the heroes of the day. So anyway, that's, um, that's me in a nutshell. Um, Monica, follow your dreams, hon. Whatever it takes, get out there. You know, even if you can only do a little bit of it and then you have to go back to the real world and, you know, make some money, a lot of people have to do that and then they get to go back. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? You just do whatever you have to do to get it going. <clears throat> okay, enough with all that. I get to do my first unboxing. It was my birthday last week, so I got a lot of cool goodies, and uh, I want to I share that stuff with you. The first one I got here is uh, the USS Silversides cap. Uh, I actually bought this one as a, as a birthday present to myself. Um, my friends have been lovingly referring to me as Captain Silversides. I don't know why. I figured, though, it's, uh, it's time to embrace it. So, anyway, without further ado... Um, this is, this was a present for me, from me, for the boat. A uh, couple of things I needed. I went on a shopping spree at Harbor Freight. If you're into tools and you need stuff, but you're taking it to a salty environment and you don't want to buy a $300 tool that's a, a name brand, you know, hey, don't be afraid to buy some stuff from Harbor Freight. It might not be the best stuff, but I've, I've actually had pretty good success with it. And at the end of the day, it costs 20 bucks. So if it doesn't work, it's not a $100 tool or a $300 tool. You can just throw it away and get a new one. Um, you know, basics, drill bits. I needed these real bad. You would think a tool guy would have drill bits. And I have drill bits, but I have mismatched crap from like three different sets. So I wanted a complete index. Um, I got myself a, a jigsaw. Okay, and this is, there's two tools here that are for a specific project. Uh, I'm going to be cutting in some side port windows. Um, Dave has been a huge part of this, um, helping me get all of this going and um, kind of keeping me focused uh, when I've lost my way. And, and you know, uh, he actually is, is buying the ports for this project. So um, I'm going to be cutting them in. So I had to get my jigsaw to cut them in and I needed a precision grinding instrument. Um, is that right? Yeah, okay, I guess you can read that. That's um, 
a really cool tool. You can put a lot of different bits on it. You can polish with it, but more importantly, you can grind precision holes with it with the right tooling. So um, I got those two that I desperately needed for a project and I just want to have them on board. Uh, the other thing I got, and this is kind of a something I'm doing differently with this boat than I've done with any other boat, is I'm trying to match my inverters with my power use. Okay, so I have a 2000 watt inverter to run the refrigerator. I have a 2000 watt inverter to run the coffee pot. Uh, but I want to be able to run things like my laptop and my computer um, and my TV because I use my TV as a, as a screen when I'm actually making videos and artwork and uh, other things like that. Um, my recording software, whatnot, I like to have it up on the big screen, but I want to have an inverter that takes just enough juice to run the device because if you're running too big of an inverter, you're wasting a lot of juice. Even though you're not using it, the inverter still uses that juice to power itself up. So you're literally just wasting. So I got myself a, a small Harbor Freight inverter um, that I think is a better match to the TV. It's a 400 watt. I tried to run 150 watt and it had enough to turn it on, but when it powered it up, it just cut out. So I'm hoping this works. If it does, I may buy uh, another one for a backup because I really like redundancies. I mean, if you're going to try and go offshore cruising in different countries, you know, you really need to have redundancies, two or three of everything. Um, so that's pretty much it. Oh, while I was home, I found this. And you're going to say, Steve-O, Captain Silversides, whatever you want to call me, I don't care. Hey, buddy, what the hell is that? This is a helmet cam from when we were young and dumb. And I haven't seen the footage off of this camera in probably 10 years. And I know that there's some really good stuff here. So I'm, I'm stoked to get into this and uh, I'm going to put <laughs> some of the craziness in the shots at a later date when I have a computer again. So um, this one here, <sighs> I don't know if you can see that, but it is a big badass ice maker that uh, Dave sent me and uh, I think that we're going to use it quite a bit. Um, I know Delos has one on their boat and I see them use it. It's one of the comforts of home that I think cruisers forget about. Uh, sometimes having a little ice in your rum and coke or your whiskey and coke, whatever it is that you like. I, I like rum and cokes. That's the captain's drink. So let's check this thing out. I haven't even opened it yet because I've been waiting to show it to you guys. And I, I didn't even really feel like showing this video this morning. I, I brought Puppy Love home from Michigan and uh, he met a lot of really awesome people yesterday. But like any kid, any three-year-old, he's being a jerk today. He's being a bad dog. In fact, he's in the back. Uh, I, he doesn't even get to be in this. See, Puppy Love, you be a bad dog. You don't get to be in the videos. He's back there crying. Uh, anyway, uh, a little frustrating dealing with the kid today, but he'll he'll be just fine. He just needs to remember who the boss is, and everything will be good. So back to uh, check that out. That is sweet. We'll figure out how it works on another day. I don't even know where I'm going to end up putting it, um, but I'm definitely going to use that. I I, I really forget to make ice. I've, I've learned how to live without it, but uh, it's going to be really nice to have ice again. Oh my God. I mean, it's already 80 to get 82 degrees today. And it's rumored that by June, it's going to be 110 in the shade here. So air conditioning and ice is going to make me a lot more comfortable. And hopefully you, if you come down and visit and, uh, you know, Hey, help me out a little bit. Um, I'm not a slave driver, but, uh, I'm definitely going to put you to work. Uh, you'll earn your keep, right? Doing a little of this and a little of that. Um, I'd really like to have somebody come down and just clean and paint the inside of the cupboards uh, so I can load everything. I have everything emptied out of the cupboards so they're prepped. And uh, I've been focused on bigger projects. It would be wonderful to have somebody come down and, and handle that project for me. But uh, anyway, um, this gift, look at that. Silverside. That's from Skinny, my first mate. He, uh, he was worried that if we went to the islands, we wouldn't be protected properly. So he got us both a mossy oak kit. Check this bad boy out. Oh, if we run into any crazy natives. <laughs> there you go. He's got a nice hook. We can gut fish with it. And uh, he also got me battle axe, right? I think we can figure out how to throw these. Um, 
not only good for personal protection if we have to cut the rig free, um, it's good for emergency purposes, but we can also cut firewood and cook our dinners on shore. Um, we love that kind of thing. I don't know if you guys are into that or not, but that's how I grew up. My dad taught me how to cook wild game on a fire. And that's, if you know me, that's the only way I really know how to cook. Um, I can cook some slop in a pan on the stove, but when it comes to delectable treats, give me some wild game and a campfire with some Michigan red oak or some cherry or some apple wood and I will make you some of the most delicious vittles you ever ever ate in your life and it's really not me it's my papa he taught me how I'll teach you how to someday uh, okay last but not least <sighs> what's in the box what's in the box I'll tell you what's in the box first of all this came from Nick Sailor Jerry's. I think it's pretty much necessary. No real sailing vessel should ever go in the water without a bottle of Sailor Jerry's. Nick, thank you so much. My brother, I love you so much. And uh, this last one actually is another one from Dave. Uh, got me this pretty blue halyard line. Uh, it's 150 feet of it and uh, I like the color. It's really pretty, um, but more importantly, it's going to replace my front furling line. Um, either that or I'll use it for a halyard. It's 150 feet, so it's a lot of it, so um, I'll have to figure out where I'm going to put it. This boat only has uh, two halyards, and uh, I want to have four, so I have uh, emergency backup for front and back, um, forward and aft, uh, just because, again, redundancy, redundancy, redundancy. So that's it. Those are all of my wonderful birthday presents. Um, I guess you guys can see that uh, the arch behind me, this big hunk of wall, is gone. I'll give you a little better shot of it. It's uh, kind of roughed in. Uh, I need to still belt sand it. I just got some new belts for the belt sander, and um, I'll be trimming it out kind of along the way. That's going to be a long process because I have so many other things going on, and it's a really tedious job. So um, I'm less concerned about finishing it out as I was just getting it out of the way to make the boat feel more open. And, and now that that's done... It's awesome. So I guess that wraps up the video. Um, I just want to finish things out by saying, hey, thank you guys so much. I love all the comments. If you guys have any, any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, like, subscribe, share. That's how this whole thing works. It's, it's all about sharing on social media. If you have a Facebook account, you know, and you like what I'm doing, please throw up the video, share it with other people. And again, like it, subscribe to the channel. This whole thing runs on subscription, so it's 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 really important. Uh, if you don't have a YouTube channel, it's super easy. All you need is an email account, and then you can like and subscribe to things and, and interact with the whole YouTube community, which is really a, a phenomenal thing that we have going for this generation. So uh, again, thank you guys so much for kind of sharing this journey with me. Um, I love you guys. I love you guys all so, so much. Uh, thank you for being a part of this journey with me. And if, if you want to be a part of the journey in real time, get a hold of me, uh, leave a comment or a private message on my Facebook account, and um, we'll figure out how the logistics of getting you down here. I, I definitely have room for a couple more people to uh, hang out and be a part of this. So again, let me know. See you guys.